and I am back. Um, I'm kind of just here to introduce myself. I know I've posted a bunch of videos already, um, but none of you really know who I am or where I'm from or anything about me. And I mostly decided to try out a few videos first just to see if I like it before I introduce myself to the YouTube video world. Anyways, uh, I just got a call not too long ago um, from my boo bear, my boo. My best friend Rebecca, you guys have all seen her in videos already, asking me to go out to the pub today because it is karaoke night and we usually try to go every Thursday with a group of our friends. So I thought, hey, how about we knock a few things out of the park right now? So we are going to do my makeup. I'm going to introduce myself to you all. I'm going to start having a drink or two. So, And I'm also eating my dinner, which tonight is just going to be pizza pops because why the hell not? Alright, let's get this video started, shall we? So, hello again, everyone. For those of you who haven't watched my videos yet or haven't learned about me yet, uh, my name is Katie. I am new to the YouTuber world. I am from a little town up in the middle of nowhere called Terrace, BC, in Canada. What, what? I am 23. Three years old. I've recently got married in June. I have two handsome puppies. My family is pretty freaking big. Not gonna lie, I have one full sibling. My half brother, two step brothers, two sister in laws, two cousins who are my best friends and my brothers. And they have two, they each have a girlfriend who I consider my sister in laws as well. I have aunties and uncles and I am a First Nations woman. Um, I am of Shimshan and Nishka descent. And I absolutely love my heritage. Uh, I never really was into it until I got older. Nowadays, I'm a lot more into it than I used to be. Just to be clear as well, I have no clue how to do makeup. I just do my regular thing here and hope for the best. My products are not bougie at all. I buy everything from like Walmart. Like this is Hard Candy, Hard Candy, Elf. <laughs> like it works. It looks good. It doesn't necessarily last hours, but you get what you pay for, right? I don't know how to use a beauty blender. Like I have one, but it's not in very good shape. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got like rips in it and I've tried to wash it too and it still just doesn't look right. I do use it for a couple of things, but normally not my foundation. I just don't know how. I've watched James Charles tutorials, I watch Manny's tutorials. I just don't understand how their beauty blender actually blends shit on their face. I've tried using it damp, I've tried using it dry. That just doesn't work for me. You know, it's maybe in this journey ahead. I'll be able to use a beauty, a beauty blender. If I ever talk about Bay in my videos, if everybody can just be aware, I'm not talking about my husband. <laughs> um, my husband knows this as well as everybody else in my life. Whenever I say Bay, I'm talking about Chris Pratt. Okay, I love him. He's adorable. He's hilarious. He's handsome. Out of all the Chris's and Brad's and whatever of the, of the um, celebrity world, for some reason I always come back to Chris Pratt. He's just bae to me. Even the Ryans, man. Out of all of them, I'm still on board. Chris Pratt, my bae. Everybody always thinks I'm talking about my husband when I'm talking about bae, and they're like, why do you call your husband that? And I'm like, my husband? And my husband goes, oh, yeah, bae's not me. So that's, uh, it's Chris. And they're like, who's Chris? And he's like, Chris Pratt? Yeah, that's, that's her bae. That's who she dreams about. What do I usually do next? Now we're gonna go in with my little stick guy here. Um, I just finished watching Insatiable. You killed it. That show had me laughing so much. I was so in love with it. I started it on a Saturday and I was done by the time I went to bed on Sunday. I could not stop watching. And I hope that's what you were hoping for because you freaking got me, man. I've seen lots of backlash on that movie, actually. Or on that series, actually. 
You know, I don't really get it. I don't understand why there's so much backlash. I think it was a beautiful show. I love the satire in it. I love, I love Debbie. She's trying to be such a good person. But hey, no one's really that perfect, are they? Uh, yeah, Debbie Ryan, I think you absolutely killed that. I loved, absolutely love, love, loved that show. <laughs> It was a pretty good, it was a good ride. There was so many ups and downs. It took me two whole days to finish an entire season of it because I did not want to stop watching. I don't know if you're following my Instagram. I post lots of pictures on there of myself and my life. How do I look so far? I don't know how to contour. I'm, I, this is just what I normally do. I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it even does anything. But I like it. I'm practicing, so I'm going to keep going with it. Well, let's talk about YouTubers. How about that? Uh, the reason I got into wanting to do this YouTube videos uh, is actually because of the YouTubers I watch. Um, within the past few weeks, I've gone through, well, it's been like over a month now, but I've gone through quite a bit of phases of YouTubers. Um, for quite a long time, Gabby, Gabby Hanna, The Gabby Show, that was my absolute, like, she was my goddess for a long time. I'm not saying, like, she's not anymore. She didn't do anything to make me not love her. I still absolutely love her, but I just became less obsessed. Pretty sure I managed to pretty much watch all of her videos. Um, and her new music videos. Oh, my God. Honestly... Whew! That shit got me. Absolutely loved it. She's following her dreams. I love it. I hope one day people recognize her not as the Gabby show, but as Gabby Hanna, a music artist. Her voice is gorgeous. She's gorgeous. Her journey is amazing. And uh, I was listening to her talk about following her dreams and how in awe she is about it all and everything and I thought like I've always wanted to make YouTube videos it's not like something new for me it's something I've always been interested in but after watching them watching Gabby Hanna, Liza Koshy, Shane Dawson I just finished the Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star um, the Secret World of Jeffree Star series. Jeffree seems like such a nice person, and Shane, he's such a beautiful soul. Albeit somewhat dark and sadistic, but still a beautiful soul. And Ryland too. I didn't know who Ryland was, I'll admit, until, like, um, until recently, when I've been catching up on some Shane Dawson, and then I realized, and then I started watching some Ryland videos, and he is the sweetest person ever like oh my god his laugh his smile the way he looks at shane oh my goodness let me think what was the first youtuber this year really that i've actually like binge watch could not put it down maybe mr kate mr kate i just moved in well I'm, i've lived here for like two years now i love my house Mr. Kate was honestly so helpful in my decisions around my house. Like when I moved in here, I didn't even have these curtains. And I was like, you know what? A set of drapes goes a long way. Uh, I like to mist in between my layers as per uh, James Charles. So how do I look so far? Going good, I think. Look at this. Look at the skin difference. My face is like white and my <laughs> my skin color is pretty dark. But sorry. That's okay, why not? Let's just keep going for it. So I never used to really put anything under my makeup because I always thought I was like shiny enough, but I love the shimmer moment this adds. Just that little bit of I think it's so beautiful.
I'm not, it's my skin, it's my face, I'll do what I want. I think I put too much of this on my hand. Uh, my face tends to get really red. When I have a drink, it gets red. So, if I start to look like I'm blushing, that is just my skin. So, that's also a reason why I don't like to wear blush. Um, for all those booty gurus out there who just <laughs> gasped at me. Um, yeah, I don't like to wear blush. My, I, my, my cheeks go super red when I'm out. Uh, it's always been like that. I don't know how to counteract it. I've tried to do the whole um, color corrective concealers and different things like that, but it just doesn't work for me. Once my cheeks are red, it's game over. When I was younger, it made it super hard to like be nonchalant and flirty with boys. So it's just like, they'd be like, oh, you're kind of cute. And then all of a sudden I'd be like, beat red. And I'd be like, oh, whatever. And they're like, really? You're going to try to whatever me? Look at your face. You're into it. <laughs> so I never had a nonchalant encounter. Now that my hair is starting to dry, I think I should put back a bit. How's that? I don't know why. First, I like to dab some of this into my the lighter parts, well, the parts that I would like to stay lighter. I don't know if it does anything. Again, I'm not a booty guru. Maybe one day though. It'd be ambitious. We'll pretend. I don't know if it's a goal of mine to do that or not. Uh, lately, I've thought like my actual goal is to maybe be a voice actress. Like, I don't know. I think the highest praise anyone could ever get in the entire universe is to be a Disney voice actor. Disney. Like, it is just the highest of highs for me. I just, I have never loved anything more than I love Disney. Honestly, I've only been to Disneyland twice. And both times it was the most fun thing I've ever done. I hope one day, if I were to ever live in LA or something, that I could just have a year round pass and just go there whenever I feel like it. Oh, feeling blue? Let's go do some Disney rides. Oh, have a Saturday out? Let's pop into Disneyland. Jealous of people who can do that. This is the only product that is different than my other products. So all my other products are like e.l.f., hard candy, and then I have a couple that are random, Maybelline. I have one Tarte item that is like empty, but I keep it because I want to know what color I was. Because one day I hope to buy it again. It's the Tarte Clay Stick Foundation. One day I hope to get that for myself again because I love it. But this bronzer, it has like a little bit of like shimmer in it and I love that. It's not too harsh. Uh, it is the NYC Sun and Bronze bronzing powder and it's one of my favorite products but it's almost empty. Look at that. I'm sad. <laughs> For those of you who think who are into astrology and want to know more about me that way, I am a Cancer. I guess we're going to talk about some experiences I've had now. Like almost dying in a couple car crashes. Rebecca. <laughs> um, my boo bear there. Me and her have had quite some adventures together. She is definitely my ride or die life or girlfriend. If for some reason I were to not be with my husband, I would spend my life with her. Let's think. Well, the first time I think I almost died because of a vehicle incident <laughs> was... And I was 16, and in Canada, you can get your learners at 16, and when you have your learners, you are allowed to drive a moped by yourself. You don't I don't know to destroy, so now I'm going to do this elf palette, touch up my eyes a little bit. But, uh, <laughs> so I was driving my moped. And my mom hated the idea of me getting a moped, but she's also a really good mom, so she supported my my choice to drive a moped so I could drive myself around. And uh, one day I was running just a tad late for work, and instead of going down back roads to get there, like my mother told me I should, she always told me that if I was driving alone, 
to stay on back roads. But come on, I was 16. Who listens to their mother at 16? Way to work, and I was like, it's a straight shot from home to work. Instead of turning down all these back roads, which is going to take me longer, I'm just going to stay on the main road and get to work on time. <laughs> Driving near the semi truck that is, I don't know where it's coming, but a moped was so small, this guy could not tell that I was even there. And I could not tell that his signal was on because I was like beside him, right? I wasn't behind him. And uh, so he takes a wide turn, which means he's in the other lane, like he's in the outside lane and I was in the inside lane and he's turning to the right. Has a signal on, can't see me in his mirrors. And then he starts turning and I was driving my moped and I specifically remember, I saw this turn coming in front of me and I watched it. And as soon as I knew I wasn't gonna be able to stop, I like thought to myself, fuck, my mom is going to kill me if I survive this. Literally remember saying that in my head. It's like, my mom, it's always right, and now she's going to kill me. I get dragged. I lost the skin on the back of one of my legs. I had a very dramatic experience from this semi truck. Watched my moped, and then some reporter lady had the nerve to write in the paper that alcohol may have been involved about a 16-year-old at 7.30 in the morning on her way to work. Anyways. <laughs> So I had to get all this stuff done. Uh, I have this nasty scar on the back of my leg. Not from losing my skin though. From a rock, but this big, that burrowed its way into my fucking leg from this dragging incident. It was pretty traumatic for anyone who was involved. And uh, yeah, well, it was a good time. I woke up in this room, my blanket was covered in like blood and my coworkers stopped in to see if I was okay and I wasn't. And then they had to put me under so they could work on my leg and make sure I didn't need skin grafts and all this stuff. And I, when I woke up from there, my whole family was like surrounding me. I felt like I was maybe on my deathbed, not gonna lie. It was scary. semi truck accident already um after the semi truck was quad uh, me and rebecca had gone quadding borrowing my grandpa's quad um and we went up to the power lines <laughs> that was a lot of fun but <laughs> rebecca asked me if she could drive and i was under the impression that she has driven many a quad in her lifetime you can drive and then we're in like these mountain areas right mountain she goes down this cliff and i'm like telling her you have to stay on this side until you get around this piece and then you're gonna like curve around it and go down and she's just like okay i got this <laughs> she did not have it she fucking that thing flipped over us my pant leg got <laughs> stuck on it she jumps off upward i get rolled on from this quad down this cliff area when it gets to the bottom i don't have my pants on anymore <laughs> it's just like my feet hanging on and i'm like get it off and it was like on top of me it was very scary and i was bleeding and then she comes over like the freaking hulk and just grabs the edge of this quad and just poof and that thing flips over ripping my pants off of me <laughs> And then when I stood up, I was like, can I have my pants back? <laughs> so she gets me my pants. Like, she flipped it all by herself. I was crying like a little baby child. I did nothing to help. I don't know what look I'm going for. I'm going for, I want to feel pretty while I'm at the club. So. We're just going to attempt that look here. Um, and the time after that, I was again with Rebecca <laughs> uh, and we were again driving 
in her car, we were driving, and in Terrace, there's this overpass to go over, like, um, where all the trains are. <laughs> she looked down for five freaking seconds to grab her Red Bull, which she couldn't, like, she reached down first, and she was, like, moving her hand around, but she couldn't find this Red Bull. So she, like, glances down, and as she glanced, we go up onto the curb of the sidewalk, and then we're driving along the sidewalk, and then she pulls us to get down off the sidewalk, and, uh... And, uh, and, yeah, we swore we were going to go flying off if we hadn't, like, I don't even know what happened, if that was reflexes, how she stopped us from just flying right off the overpass. But I, in front of, in front of us, there was this, like, SUV thing, and there were these kids in the back, and I could clearly see them both just turn around, and here's, like, the seats, and they're, like, looking out their back window, and I almost pissed my pants laughing, because I just, oh. It was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen. These two, these kids were just in awe of what just happened behind them. And I was just sitting there, I was just like, I wonder what they thought as they watched us do this. If I saw that in the vehicle behind my mom, they'd be like, Mom, look at these drunk people. They almost went off the overpass. But no, we're just stupid and could not find a Red Bull that we desperately needed because we were 20. <laughs> I wasn't even in my 20s yet. She was maybe, or not quite. And she's just like, apparently we were so tired and so much need of this Red Bull, we would risk our lives for it. Whoever's watching this, you're probably my only viewer, so. Shout. Love you. You're the bomb. Or forget people's faces in those moments, you know? Okay, I feel like when I enter the black, I need to fuck my eyes up. That's all right. What's wrong, buddy? Let me see here. How are we gonna fix this? I'm gonna try. It's just like, a good old line. Right there. And then we're just going to blend her out. I'm kind of excited for karaoke. Um, <clears throat> on all these drives that me and my boo have done over the years, um, our biggest like thing about these drives is that we always sang Ice Ice Baby, one of the best in our books. It's an oldie but a goodie. It's a lifer song for us. But we learnt every single lyric to that song. I still have troubles with it every now and then because nobody really listens to that song with me except for her. So I don't get a lot of practice time. <laughs> when we go to karaoke, man, we kill it. Oh no, I dropped one. My brushes. Oh yeah, I like it. Oh, pretty. This is my baby, okay? Mwah. Just about done here. And then that's pretty much my whole makeup look. I hope you guys like it. I'm a winged liner person. I've been rocking it for years. I don't think I'm ever gonna stop rocking it. Also, I'm pretty good at it. Like these wings, they don't take me very long. Once I outline's on there, it's just a matter of seconds until it's all done. Uh. Oh no! What have I done? Boy, is mommy smooched. Okay. I'm looking good, feeling beautiful. Me, me, me. Yeah, handsome. Shine, baby, get your shine on. That's probably not even the words. I'm like the worst with song lyrics and like remembering. Uh, usually, if I can remember the tune, eventually the lyrics will come to me. But if I don't know the tune offhand, I cannot get any of the lyrics right. And then even once I get the freaking tune, it's like a crapshoot if I actually remember the song lyrics. Can you see that? I don't know if you can. How'd I do? I like it. I always like my makeup. TBH. Lips. Should we do lips? I'm not a huge lip fan. I feel like I just smudge it. Okay. All right, family, I think that's all for today. All right. See, look at this. See this? My cheeks are already starting to go red. What did I tell you? Oh, that was my first chit-chat. Get ready with me.
now you kind of know me and some stuff about me. I think that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna go finish getting ready, and by that I mean do my hair quickly. Oh, it's pretty nice. And then I am gonna go work on some karaoke at the pub. So I hope you guys like my makeup. I don't know how well I did. Um, I don't do eyebrows. I don't know how many of you gurus are watching me or if you ever see this and you're like, girl, your eyebrows, they need some work. I know, but I love them. I think they could be like, I don't know what I think. I love them. Nobody that I've ever spoken to ever says that they think I need to do my eyebrows. But I just saw my boot bear pull in, so I'm going to go get dressed. Love you guys. Like, subscribe, hit the little bell for some post notifications. Uh, my name is Katie Rayanne. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Snapchat. All my handles and stuff will be down below. Bye!